Fans of television show Doc Martin will probably recognize Rose Cottage on Dolphin Street in Port Isaac, Cornwall. The pretty property often features in the background when actor Martin Clunes walks along the street in his role as Dr. Martin Ellingham. It also featured in the last series of the ITV show, although not as a main character's home, but as the house of a destructive boy's mother. And it is behind Auntie Ruth's house. An OW the four bedroom home is on the market. After five years running it as a successful holiday let, real life owner Sarah Fitz has chosen online estate agent Yopa to handle the sale of the property, which has an asking price of £515,000. Ms Fitz, who lives in Guernsey and now finds the distance to the Cornish cottage too far, said it would work equally well as a permanent family home. She said, I would love to live there. They film the TV show in the area every other year. The property is a former fisherman's cottage and is approached by a squeeze belly alley, one of the narrowest in Britain. Rose Cottage has a crisp white and blue painted exterior with a classic slate roof and an attractive front garden. There is an abundance of traditional features that can be seen upon entering the property including slate floors and a cast iron fireplace. The lounge on the left and dining room on the right both have sash windows and window seats, providing plenty of light. The lounge also has beautiful original slate floors wood beams on the ceiling and a working wood burner. Local Yopo agent Tracy Stanford said, it's a gorgeous property that is beautifully presented. It is quirky, typical of the area and full of charm. The traditional theme continues throughout the kitchen towards the rear of the property with a Rayburn, another window seat and hand-painted wooden base units. There is a separate oven for those seeking modern touches. Ms. Stamford added, the kitchen is my favorite part of the cottage, and it featured in the recent series of Doc Martin. It has a country style and is really pretty. There is space for a dining table and chairs, with stained glass doors backing onto the garden, which includes a decked area. On the first floor, there are three bedrooms, two at the front, and the other with a beautiful cast iron fireplace. The Jack and Jill bathroom has a traditional roll-top bath and a separate refitted shower. The property is on a hill and a parking space is available at the top of the village for an annual fee of £1,100. The agent points out that a garage parking spot might be available. If preferred. The holiday rentals are currently managed by a company based in Port Isaac, averaging 26 weeks a year with a gross income of around £20,000. And the property can be bought with or without the bookings for next year. All the furniture, fittings, and appliances are also included in the sale.
The cottage is in Port Isaac, a quaint historical fishing village with narrow winding streets that lead down to the harbor. It is on a beautiful stretch of coastline and is considered to be one of Cornwall's most popular holiday destinations. Ms. Stanford concluded, Port Isaac is a tourist area and the property has retained its charm despite the huge popularity of the village.